Uh, hi students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your English teacher Ismaishwa is going to upload once again a very very beneficial video. I mean a grammar video. Okay, in today's video I'm going to teach you the past simple tense. Past simple tense. Okay, this grammar tense can help you to explain a past general state, action or habit. Okay, today's lesson is very important and it's a very, very, you know, uh, difficult to learn. But I will try my level best to teach in a soft way. I mean, to keep it easy. Okay, uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, first of all, I will talk about the be verb in the past simple tense. The be verb in the past simple tense can be used to describe a past general state. Okay, uh, we use the be verb. I mean, just, you know, was and were here. Okay, uh, let's understand this with the help of a few examples. Uh, I was ill. I started this sentence with the subject I and then directly I here used, I mean, was, the past form of verb or, or you know, the past form of be, was and verb. Okay, but here I used was. It's because here the subject with us is I. It means that with I, I mean, he, she, it or I, we, uh, here we have to use was, not verb. Okay, uh, the next sentence is he was a teacher. I started this sentence with the subject he. Once again, I here used, I mean, just, you know, uh, the past form of verb of be, you know, was. And then a teacher. Finally, you were a good student. Now, here I just use the subject you. Uh, therefore, I just use were, not was. That's because with you, we and they, we have to use here, I mean, just, you know, were, not was. You were a good student. Okay. I was ill. He was a teacher. You were a good student. Okay. So, this was the first usage. Now, I will talk about the regular verbs in the past simple tense. Okay. Uh, now, here, I just started this sentence with the subject she. It's because it doesn't matter that, you know, uh, here it's she, they, we or I. Okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, we have to just add D or ED at the end of the verb. I mean, re, uh, at the end of the regular verbs. Uh, for example, she played a game. Now, here, I started this sentence with the subject she. And then I just used here the verb play. But, you know, the past form of verb play is played. That's because it's a regular verb. And here I added just only ed. Ed with, uh, with the verb play. So, she played a game. And the next sentence is the car needed gas. So, I just started this sentence with the subject the car. And pronoun for this is it. So, the car needed gas. Here I just used the verb need. But the second in the past form of verb of the verb need is needed. That's a regular verb. Therefore, I added only ed at the end of the verb need. Needed. Gaze. Finally, they usually worked hard. They usually worked hard. So, I started this sentence with the subject they. And then I just used here once again the past form of verb of work, worked. I Once again, I added here ed to make it past form. Okay. And here I use just, you know, uh, the word usually. Which shows, you know, that this is a habit. They usually worked hard. Okay. Uh, now, I will talk about the irregular verbs, you know, in the past simple tense. Irregular verbs. Okay. Uh, I started this sentence with the subject I. I mean, I ate with my friend. So, I started this sentence with the subject I. And then I used here the verb, uh, the second form of verb of eat. So, I here used ate. It's because it's a second form. I mean, it's a past form of verb eat. Eat, it. So, I ate with my friend. Irregular verbs. He wrote a story. So, I started this sentence with the subject he. And then the second form of verb of the verb write. Past form of verb of write is wrote. So, he wrote a story. The next sentence is she bought a camera. So, I started this sentence with the subject she. And then I used here the second in the past form of verb of buy bought she bought a camera finally my parents send me money my parents so the pronoun for this is they so uh, but it doesn't matter and then here i just use the past form for of the verb send sent so my parents send me money my parents send me money so these are uh, the uses okay now you have to learn how to make negative form of the past simple tense uh, but first of all, how to make negative form of the be verb in the past simple tense. Okay. Uh, I just, you know, she wasn't L. She was not L. I started this sentence with the subject she. And then once again here, I just used was. That's because here with us is she. The subject is she. Therefore, I used here was. And then not. Okay. Don't forget to put not after was or were to make sentences negative. 
So she was not L. She was not L. She was not a teacher. Okay. She was not a doctor. She was not a good girl. So just put not after was a word to make sentences negative. So the next sentence is he wasn't a teacher. Here I use the contraction of two words was not wasn't. So he wasn't a teacher. It means he was not a teacher. Once again, I just here uh, put not after was. So it's because the subject is he. So he was not a teacher. But the contraction of was not wasn't. He wasn't a teacher. Finally, they were not doctors. I started the sentence with the subject they. Therefore, I used here were. It's because I understood everyone here. Okay. With he, she, it and I, we have to use was. And with they, you, we, we have to use were. And after were and after were and was, we have to uh, put here not to make sentences negative. Uh, they were not doctors. They were not doctors. Not, not, not. I put not after was and were. Okay. So now you must have to learn how to make negative form for non, I mean, just, you know, be verbs. I mean, for regular and for irregular verbs. So here are the examples. Uh, let's understand this with the help of these examples. I started this sentence with the subject I and then I just used here did not, did not, okay? I did not like him. I did not like him. So I started this sentence with the subject I and then I used here did not, okay? With all subjects, I mean with he, she, it's, uh, with they, you, we. So with all, I mean just, you know, we have to use here did not. So I did not and then base form, okay? Not second form. It's because in past simple tense, uh, without positive structure, negative, interrogative, negative, and interrogative, and double H question structures, we have to aid, we have to use base form of verb, not second form of verb. Only in positive sentences, in positive structure, we have to aid verb second form. Okay? But in negative sentences, and in interrogative sentences, and negative and interrogative, and double H question sentences, we don't have to use second form of verb. Uh, we have to use base form. Therefore, I just used here like not liked not liked like that's because in negative sentences we have to use base form of verb i did not like him i did not liked him wrong okay the next sentence is she didn't catch the ball she didn't catch the ball so i started this sentence with the subject she and then did not but the contraction of did not is didn't so she didn't catch the ball catch the ball base form First form of verb. Okay. Base form means first form. And negative and negative, negative and negative, and last four structures, we have to use first form of verb. Simply first form. Okay. So finally, we didn't dance. I started the sentence with the subject we and then did not. Contraction. Didn't. Finally, base form. Dance. So now you must have to learn how to make interrogative sentences of the past simple tense. Very easy. First of all, uh, you know, this is a positive sentence. He was angry. Okay, be, uh, you know, be verb. Uh, second form of verb, positive sentence. So, he was angry. Just you have to bring the be verb, I mean, the second form of verb, uh, was a verb at the beginning of the sentence to make sentence an interrogative. Very simple. He was angry. Bring was at the beginning of the sentence. Was he angry at the last sign of interrogation. Two changes. Was and were at the beginning of sentences, sign of interrogation at the end of the sentences to make sentences interrogative. So, he was angry. Was he angry? Sign of interrogation, interrogative, very simple. And, uh, you know, without be verbs, I mean for regular and for irregular verbs, so same left here, same left here. So, just you have to bring did at the beginning of the sentence with all subjects, only did at the beginning of the sentences. Did Sam love here? Sign of interrogation. Okay? Sam loved here. Did Sam love here? Sign of interrogation. And I just brought here did. Very simple. Extremely easy. Okay? Finally, you must have to learn how to make negative and interrogative, I mean, just, you know, sentences uh, of the past simple tense. You have to put just only not after subject. Was he angry? First of all, positive. He was angry. Negative. Put not after was and were. He was not angry. Negative. And interrogative just bring was at the beginning of the sentences. Was he angry? And negative and interrogative, you have to put not after subjects. After subjects in all sentences. 
He was angry. Positive. He was not angry. Negative. Was he angry? Interrogative. Was he not angry? He only just put not to make sentence negative and interrogative. He was angry. He was not angry. Was he angry? Was he not angry? Was he not angry? Sam laughed here. Positive. Okay. Sam didn't laugh here. Negative. Did Sam laugh here? Interrogative. Did Sam not laugh here? Negative and interrogative. Very simple, very easy. Still, if you have any question, you can comment below. I will get you back. Finally, you must have to learn how to make double H question sentences of the past simple tense. Just, you know, put double H word at the beginning of the interrogative, uh, uh, you know, sentences. Was he angry? Why was he angry? Just to have to put double H word at the beginning of the interrogative sentences to make a sentence you know double interrogative i mean double h question sentence very easy for example now this is a you know an interrogative sentence was he angry okay was he angry you have to put just only double h word at the beginning of the interrogative structure why was he angry why so why is a word of double h i just put only at the beginning of this sentence why why was he angry sign of interrogation so this is a double h question sentence very easy okay still if you have any question you can comment below i i, I will get you back so this is the end of today's lesson i hope you got it and you enjoyed it still if you have any question you can comment once again i have to remember wait for forthcoming videos because i have to bring something more interesting i'm going to make a move